Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're back here with Manlow, and uh, we've got a short load going to... We've got a short load here in Washington, going over here to um, Vancouver. That's where we're going. But anyways, no further ado, man. Let's get rolling. We've got a short trip. You see the fuel in the truck uh, is pretty low, but we should have more than enough fuel to get 186 miles down the way. Man, let's check the truck out. We got the lights on, but let's let's fire the old girl up. So she's running. Sounds good. See if we see any leaks under the truck. No leaks. So if we have a leak, it ain't it ain't bad yet. Uh, all the lights. There's plenty of lights on here, for everybody can see me coming down the road. Lights are sharp. They're looking good. All the air levels in the tires are adequate. Uh, no rust where the lug nuts are at. So the lug nuts are still tight. Still doing what they need to do. Um, our hoses are all connected to the trailer properly. No air leaks. We've got the air going to the trailer right now. Um, but the parking brakes are applied on the tractor. Uh, fifth wheel is uh, secure, man. So everything's good to go. Um, true story, you guys. Uh, rest in peace to one of my the, the co-workers I, uh, I worked with. Uh, he uh, There's an accident uh, regarding the truck. I'm not going to go into details out of respect. Um, but I just want to say RP to him, man. It's sad when uh, somebody dies. And, uh, you know, it was it was preventable, but it, it sucks when it wasn't prevented, you know. And it just, that, that's why... It's important that we don't rush um, what we're doing, you guys. Uh, this equipment is not light, and uh, you know, we do this to go back home. We do this to provide for our family, or because we love, you know, what trucking is. Um, but we, we, you know, it sucks when you don't get to make it back home, and you could have. So, uh, R.I.P. to him, man. Uh, he's a great guy. I'm not saying that just because he's not here no more. He really was a great, uh, great guy, uh, and it, it just sucks to. You wouldn't even guess that that would happen, but it did. So, you guys just be careful out there on these roads, man. Be careful out there hooking your equipment up. Be, be careful dropping your equipment. You know, watch out for others, because um, mistakes do happen. So, but let's get down this road, and uh, you know, let's get it done. Can't wait to get that International 9300 super excited about getting that truck um pretty sure i've been told you guys that we have the uh or we i have the uh the 3080 in the in the pc now so i'm trying to trying to give you guys some better graphics they weren't bad before but i like to i like to have good graphics so but uh yeah we're rolling man we got a short trip I just want to see if we can get uh, some different kind of loads going. I think I need to get over. So, wasn't really liking the load selection here. We're definitely not going back to Cali. Not anytime soon. We might just start working our way back east. Because, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're over here in Washington, so let's check Washington out. I haven't been over here yet. Um, so... We'll go get her done. Hey, how are you guys doing? How's everything been going for you guys? I've, I've been hit or miss with my videos. I've been, I've had times where I could have done it and times where I you know, should have done it. You know what I mean? Just busy and a little bit of laziness. Not a good mixture, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not perfect. Um, so, but uh, happy to be back making a video for you guys. My co-driver is uh he's out on personal business right now man he's got some 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 ends to tie up with his grandmother so <laughs> he's going out to eat and they're hanging out you can't beat that i better slow my butt down before i get me uh, another ticket that i can't afford oh baby 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 help that ticket oh god oh god whoa i did not see that coming let me check that. I've been, you know, a little careless, you guys. I gotta tighten up. Shout out to whoever uh, tied down this load, though. I was only going uh, 65 mile an hour, man. These, I love the highway, so 
no excuses. I got to do better, man. I'm over here just not being sharp, man. So that ain't going to happen again, you guys. If it happens again, I'm going to quit. I don't want to put nobody else's life in danger, even my own. That was bad, you guys. I can't believe how that happened. We're going to yeah, see 30. Okay, there. I didn't see that. This is the same 30 mile an hour. I didn't see a, a slower, slower sign on that last turn. We were already slowing down when we hit it anyways. We had the Jake applied. But, uh, you know, we're learning. Look at that. 25 mile an hour. There we go. All right. We've got to put that, that P in professional. Headlight usage. Oh, my gosh. I got a ticket. I got a dang ticket. Man, what was that? Three hundred some odd dollars? We're clear over here. Clear over there. All right. gotta drive you should you should always drive carefully and you know do it properly but you gotta attention to detail has to be applied when you're pulling the flatbed because you ain't got no no walls of a trailer protecting that freight or holding it up for you them straps give out because you're being careless or you didn't tie them up to begin with properly uh you're in trouble so let's lower down Ooh, baby yeah look at that Barely got her in gear, but I got her in gear. All right. All right, are we getting on 84 or where are we going? I don't know where we're going, how we're getting there. I really didn't pay attention. Didn't do any route planning, which is dumb on my end, but I didn't. I'd be lying to you guys if I said I did. Stop. We don't want another ticket. All right. Uh, let's see here. We shouldn't get a ticket for this. We better not. I think I'm going to go on my other profile here and make a video of that international. Take a run on it. Go buy it and get it the way I like it. And uh, yeah. That's what we're gonna do here. Is have a little joy ride in her. Gotta be close to our, our destination. Need to take it easy on these roads, man. There we go. See, look at that. A little, little too quick there, even. I can't handle this truck, I guess, for whatever reason. I'm going to just stick with the cruise control. Nice to be on the interstate, though. Pull our phone out. 88 miles out is what we are. We've got to be tired, though. Gotta be sleepy. Um, no, we, yeah, we got a little energy left, so... Okay. I gotta admit to you guys, I like this truck better than that, that T-800. Still a fan of the T-800, but I do like this truck. We have that Volvo for one load, but... You guys already know what the story is on that. <clears throat> if you don't, go back and watch. But uh, yeah, this Freightliner, I'd say where we're at and uh, you know our resources, this is you know as good as it gets for now. Hit our brake and slow down. There we go. We'll go 56 mile an hour. I'm really not going to be in a hurry because it, it's just. 
bad driving and uh, you know I don't like to be a part of that is that trips we might we might start pulling trips you guys I don't know if it pays any more than what we're doing though that's the thing I, I, uh, I had a mod on where I pulled like quadruples which is super fake but I pulled it and I didn't see any increase of pay when I went to go get like the same exact load with a regular trailer so that's why I don't see the point of pulling all these extra trailers but uh, you know it is what it is okay we, we keep on getting the green lights I ain't mad at it I, uh, I seen that SCS is going to update the engine or something like that so uh, I don't know when that's going to come out or, or anything about it I heard about it uh, it's, uh, it's a rumor that I heard but I hope it's a true one and I can't wait to uh, you know experience that make the game a bit more realistic when you're on the road it sure makes it funner for me let's look over here we're clear I think we got to get right here yeah that's what we want could have stayed in that left lane, but it's all right. I wanted to be sure that I got over. Look how smooth we're driving, by the way, too. Now that we just load her on down and we're rolling, man. This truck is looking good. Looking good. Okay, it's green. Okay, I was over here looking around. There we go. What's up with you guys? You guys play ATS? You're not playing ATS? You guys got a realistic uh, profile that you guys are doing too? What kind of work you guys do in real life, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm just a dock worker. So, uh, it's fun. It's fun to see that whole entire aspect of it. I've always helped out. Before I became a dock worker and I was a driver still, I, uh, I'd come in early and help the dock out, but I really didn't truly know what the dock went through until I had to do it myself. And uh, I gotta say, man, you drivers out there, man, appreciate those damn workers on the dock, too, because, man, they go through a lot of bullshit to, to get you on that road, keep you on that road and keep you going. Um, and, it's, I, and what it comes down to, I think, is just somewhat politics, man. And, uh, you know, everybody has to be right. Everybody has to, you know, you got to do things everybody else's way and everybody wants to hold everybody accountable but not be accountable for their own actions it, it's a lot of crap that goes on in these facilities man so I don't know if it's always been that way or it's that way now because of technology you know or, or what but it's it's, it's different I, you know you don't know until you're a part of it at least that that's how it was for me so I don't know if we're gonna cross this scale just right I, I thought this was the way I needed to go yeah that's what it looked like to me we got a little room over here on the left side I think our I think our, our tandems made it on the trailer okay it's a little close a little tight there goes our spot right there so we're rolling don't want to go too fast what gear are we in we're in third gear so Um, I think I need to do it. Yeah, I need to whip it around. We should have came from the left. I didn't know that. So that, that makes sense. You get loaded and then they weigh you as you get out of here. That makes a lot of sense. So, But we'll, we'll get this thing turned around and backed up. And uh, I think we'll grab another load. Uh, we got some time left. It may be another short load. Who knows? But we'll get this trailer where it needs to be at so these boys can get their tires for their end loader or dozer, whatever the hell it is. But let's get her backed up and uh, get this load done with so we can get paid to get the girl in our four-wheel drive. Uh-uh, baby. Oh, baby, I messed that up terribly, man. Come on now. I, I'd hate to admit this, you guys, and I, I really do. Uh, I'm a way better driver in real life than I am in this simulation. I, I I guarantee you, without a shadow of a doubt, that there's some boys on this on, that play this game that can just kick my butt in this driving stuff, man. It's crazy how I can I can perfect it in real life, and uh, 
And I got a, I got like a real life setup, you guys. And I just cannot nail it. I cannot nail it. So, it's crazy. All right, come on, there we go. It's a true story, if you guys look at my uh, profile pic on here, this account, at least right now what it is, it's a picture of me and uh, one of my younger daughters at the time. We went to uh, Gray Lake, Illinois, so it's like a northern suburb of Chicago, if you will, and uh, we had a truck, truck rodeo, they call them, and there's a lot of guys there, some guys with like 30 years experience, and I just went there to have a weekend away with my daughter, and uh, you know, and drive a truck. That's all I did, and turned around and won first place. My buddy that uh, I worked with at the time, he he got second place. Uh, so that's why you see me holding the two trophies. First place is the one that I won. The other trophy is the one that him and I won together. Because if you came from the same place, if two people came from the same place and you both scored high, you know, whoever scored the highest from, from the same place got that team trophy. So we earned we earned a t team trophy. And then I got first and he got second. So that that's a true story, fun fact. Uh, and it was a blast, man. My daughter had a great time, and so did I. And that's what it's all about, man.